Hello everyone. So in the last class, uh, we have to see different kind of uh, things available in the object oriented analysis and design. So uh, with the help of things, relationships uh, and also the diagrams, we simply call as building blocks of the unified modeling language. So if you know all about these building blocks, you will be familiarized with the help of designing a particular system in the real world. If I give any system to you, after learning all these uh, content available in the building blocks, uh, I am uh, sure you are the familiar with the design part. Okay? So come to the part of uh, this uh, building blocks of uh, object-oriented analysis using UML is things. In the previous class we studied uh, structural things. So all these seven type of things we studied and also the behavioral things. Behavioral things are the interaction and the state machine behavioral diagrams we have to uh, discuss it and what kind of symbols related each and every one we have already seen. Grouping things, packages, what are packages, annotation, explanatory parts of the UML, annotated, uh, annotational things we uh, saw. So from this uh, uh, things, uh, after that we studied relationship, relationship is nothing but a connection, a connection between the uh, different things. Things are nothing but not only uh, these classes, interface activities and packages and uh, more. In addition, you may have different kind of uh, um, real world classes, objects are also there. Okay. So, see, the building blocks contain things and relationships. In this class, we are going to learn the major parts available in the UML is the diagrams. Diagrams are the uh, key role play in UML. While designing a system, we should know the all nine kind of diagrams. Let me uh, see the each and every diagram, what its structure I have to show. So in our syllabus, after second unit, third unit, fourth unit, fifth and sixth unit contain these all nine diagrams. You should know and you should familiarize with this. So at that time, uh, if I give any problem to you, system, that will be uh, very easy to draw the particular system. Right, see, so relationships, diagrams. See the diagrams. So here, uh, a brief uh, view of uh, yesterday's class, last class. Of the class, class is like this. Class representation is like this, and also the interface. What is an interface? Interface is a collection of functions that specify a service of a class. Collection of functions and which specifies a service of class. Interface representation in diagrammatical is this. Is this interface uh, interface representation? This is the interface representation in graphical view. Okay. Collaboration. Collaboration. What is a collaboration? A larger pattern of behaviors and actions. Collaboration uh, symbol is this. Vehicle movement is a collaboration. Realization of collaboration is nothing but a use case. This is the use case. Realization of collaboration is called use case. This is the actor symbol. In diagrammatic uh, that is dynamic view, we will see the uh, actors available here. Use case diagram. <coughs> I, I said already, use case there is sequence of actions which has uh, that a system performs that is a, a, a observable result. What is this, what is this uh, realized form of a collaboration? Use case is nothing but a realized form of a 
And that means dotted uh, ellipse you can draw for this uh, collaboration. In use case, there is a uh, is this like this? No dotted symbols. We have to write like this. That is realization of the collaboration. It's part of use case. Use case will represent uh, generally in uh, uh, structural view, but actually use case uh, uh, will act like a behavior of a particular system. See. So active class, active, active class represents this uh, bold outlines, active class represents and also component, component is like this, component is contain a, a physical and replaceable part of the system component uh, that will represent as like this, this is the symbol and here the server, server is nothing but a uh, different kind of note, note and server representation you see like this, right. Next, next, four types of relationships are there, four types of relationships, dependency relationship, semantic relationship, uh, dependency association and generalization, realization, uh, uh, this is the symbol for dependency, this is the symbol for association, this is the symbol for generalization, this is the symbol for realization. What is the dependency? Dependency is nothing but a dotted line, this is the symbol, dotted arrow, um, dotted line with the arrow symbol. Uh, if I give dependency, where it depended on? That shows, the ink shows, that relationship shows. In association, structural relationship there, association have different adornments. So, association may be having some uh, aggregation, uh, likewise, uh, different kind of relations divide their aggregation. And also, generalization, you use parent child relationship, generalization. Realization is this. Realization means what is relation? Defines a relationship in which one class specifies something that another class will perform. One class specifies something, another class will perform something. At that time we will use uh, uh, this symbol, this symbol, right? Next, <coughs> third part, continuation part, third one, building blocks of the UFL, first one is the thing, second one is the relationship, third one is the diagrams. We have to see the diagrams. What are diagrams? A diagram is the graphical lay presentation of a set of elements. What the diagram contain? Graphically presentation of set of elements. Most often represented as a connected graph. We simply say that connected graph. We simply say that connected graph. Diagram is a connected graph. Uh, which has some vertices that is simply called as things and also which has some arcs, arcs nothing but a relationship, diagrammatical representation in UML is a diagram, diagrammatic, so sorry, diagrammatical representation will gives us a, uh, a overview of a particular system. In diagrammatical representation, uh, have some arcs, Okay, and also uh, arcs is like in, uh, nothing but relationships uh, or some represented a set of elements is nothing but things. Simply say that diagram will represent it to show a particular system which has which has some arcs like relationship and also which has uh, some uh, uh, things, some things. Things are nothing but we simply call a set of elements. Okay, so. The diagram visualizes a system from different perspectives. So a diagram is a projection into the system that will that is the about the diagram. So see here uh, UML provide UML provide the nine kind of diagrams. Nine kind of diagrams. See here apart from these nine kind of diagrams, nine kind of diagrams, class diagram object diagram, object diagram, component diagram and deployment diagram. So these, uh, 
these four diagrams are belongs to static diagram okay so come to the remaining diagram all these diagram are belongs to the behavioral diagrams <coughs> okay dynamic diagram static diagrams four remaining five uh, remaining five are the remaining five are the remaining five are use case sequence collaboration state chat activity or the behavioral diagram dynamic diagrams okay let me see each and every diagram description and what the diagram uh, uh, parts contain and what is the structure of that particular diagram okay so <clears throat> first one is the class diagram what is the class diagram class diagram shows class diagram shows which shows classes interfaces collaborations and relationship what the class diagram contain classes interfaces collaborations and also relationships relationships you may use different kind of uh, adornments uh, is also there we have to stereotypes is also there we have to know about stereotype like at the time of uh, detailed view of uh, um, class diagram these diagrams are the most common diagrams found in modeling of object oriented like class diagrams so class diagram addresses the static design view of the system what this class diagram addresses the class diagram addresses the static design view of a particular system static design view of a particular system right so uh, this is the structure of class diagram see the structure of the class diagram class diagram contains i said uh, classes interfaces uh, collaborations and their relationship here is this is the um, schematic sketch of the uh, example of the class diagram this class diagram contain different kind of classes all these are classes this is class this is class this is class all these are classes sir. okay so uh, in this class aggregation relationship i use now an inseparable part of a whole that is uh, association another part this is the aggregation uh, from company we we are unable to inseparate the uh, department or the office department or the office we are unable to separate from the company for that situation we will use a special form of the association is called the aggregation right aggregation is having a diamond uh, uh, diamond ended uh, allowed symbol Diamond and other symbol with the fill with fill with diamond in some parts we can uh, derive. Okay, this is aggregation. So and also uh, some uh, association multiplicities are also there. Uh, one dot dot star multiplicity. One dot dot star one multiplicity representation. So and also we can write the role 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 of the association member role of the association. Uh, and also you can write the dependency dotted arrow dependency so this is this uh, this kind of uh, relationships and the things and the classes uh, which are available to combine to developing a particular system so this is the schematic sketch of example of a class diagram example of a class diagram which represent only the structural view of a model any model or any problem structural view which, which represents second one is the object diagram object diagram what is an object diagram special form of the diagram an object diagram shows a set of objects which has objects and also relationships relationships simply we call the uh, we call the links links relationships we call links in the object diagram object diagram also representing the snap static snapshot of the instances some the um, object diagram and the class diagram both two are the similar diagrams so uh, the major difference between the object diagram and the class diagram is object diagram shows uh, what was static snapshot of uh, snap, um, snapshots of the instances of the things instances of things means nothing but a classes instances of uh, things in like classes so uh, that uh, snapshots will be shown in the object diagram so see object diagram structure object diagram structure is this 
So a class diagram do not have the name, underlined name. Here uh, the class object diagram have underlined name. All these are objects. All these are objects. P, person. We have to uh, give a name for P. P is an object. Person is uh, also an object. The name will be represented with the column. Okay. All the uh, objects diagram contain objects and uh, relationships. Simply relationships here in object is uh, links. Links. This is the relationship. This, this is the. These are all the relationship. Object diagram contain. Both two are uh, similar, but uh, both two are representing the structural view of a system. Right. Use case diagram. Third one is the use case diagram. Use case diagram shows a set of use cases. Use cases, what is an use case? What is use case? Use case is nothing but a realization of collaborations. Realization of collaborations. In the real world, we have to see a different kind of vocabulary. With that vocabulary, we have to divide uh, that vocabulary into um, collaborations. From that collaboration, we have to see use case diagram. And then we have to see clearly what is use case. Uh, use case uh, have different kind of uh, use case diagram contain different kind of uh, use cases, and also which has second one is the actors. What are actors? Who are actors? A special kind of a class. The actor is also nothing but a special kind of class. Sometimes relationships also. Mm, we have a different relation. Those relationships also used in. Uh, use case diagram okay so use case diagram matters what use case diagram matters sir which actually addresses static static use case view but which behaves as like a behavioral diagram diagram that are especially important organization and modeling the behavior of the system actually that shows the static view but which which, which with the help of use case diagram we have to see the behavior also when we uh, design this particular diagram, see the structure of the diagram, structure of the use case diagram. Use case diagram contain use cases, collaborations, and also you may have different kind of actors. In use case diagram, so this is the whole uh, part of use case diagram. Here, use case diagram uh, have some actors, the persons who are acting on the active role of a particular system. That is the use cases. And the use case diagram also providing different kind of uh, uh, actions on the get confirmation number, give payment information, give uh, shipping information, call sales person, browse uh, uh, selection item items. All those are all those are the use cases. In those use cases, the actors can act directly on the particular use cases with the help of some arcs or the some. Uh, links we simply call the relationships, whatever it may be. That is the connection between the users and the customer and the sales persons. Simple schematic sketch of the use case. Use case contain use case diagram contain all these types. Okay. Next, uh, sequence diagram and the collaboration diagram. Both two diagrams should representing interaction. Interaction diagrams we call both two diagrams are interaction diagrams. Both sequence diagrams and collaboration diagrams are kind of interaction diagram. Interaction in the sense, if I give input at this particular situation, what it goes to the next situation? What will be the output uh, uh, when we give particular input to the that particular situation? So that is interaction. Interaction. If I give if I give request to you. To give something, what is your response? Requesting responses. That in the interaction will be available in the uh, these particular sequence diagram and collaboration diagrams. The most important diagrams uh, to represent behavior of the system in UN. So interaction diagram shows interactions uh, consisting of a set of objects uh, which may have some objects uh, and their relationships, uh, including with the messages. Messages from this object to that object. What is the message is going there in between that? What information is traveling from one object to another object? That representation is, is available with the 
sequence and the collaboration diagram. So uh, messages are be dispatched among them. That means traveling in between the objects. Interaction diagrams represent which view, dynamic view of a particular system. Dynamic view of a system. Interaction diagrams. Most important interaction diagrams. If you uh, interaction diagram, if you give one diagram, if you draw one diagram, automatically the system will generate another, another diagram. This diagram. Sequence diagram. What sequence diagram contain? Sequence diagram contain interest time ordering messages. Time ordering messages. Most important. Two diagrams are same representation, but the meaning is different. Two diagrams are different. But the representing is same. So sequence diagram have only the time ordering of messages. Time ordering of the messages. Whereas collaboration diagram contains structural organization. Structural organization. Sequence diagram contain time ordering. Whereas uh, uh, collaboration diagram contain structural organization. Very very important. Okay, here you have to remember this point. Underlined lines. Sequence diagrams and collaboration diagrams, isomorphic diagrams. I said, what is isomorphic? You can create a diagram uh, in the rational row software after pressing F5 actively in the rational row software, automatically which will generate another diagram. If you uh, if you draw a sequence diagram, whenever you press sequ after sequence diagram drawn, automatically will generate collaboration. If you generate collaboration diagram, automatically which generates sequence diagram. Both diagrams are uh, same representation or structure view is different. Okay? So, isomorphic. Simply we said that isomorphic. That means you take uh, one and transform it to another. And transform it to another. And transform it to another. Right? So this is the view of sequence diagram. Uh, sequence diagram is uh, interaction diagram. I said interaction in sense. One object is there. This is one object. From this object, I can I can I can uh, give a message to this object. So after I give this object message, from here to here the message will go. Okay. So first, second, like third, fourth, fifth. Likewise. Step by step ordered, ordered information is flowing in between the objects, it's called a sequence diagram. That's why we simply say that sequence. What is sequence? One after other. One after other. Sequence means one of, if I give this input, first step, then what it will do to the next step, third step, fourth step, fifth step. One after other we have to give the sequence order of the particular system. If you draw this diagram, this diagram and uh, this diagram, sequence diagram, collaboration diagram, both two are the same representation. See how many objects are available? One, two, three objects are available. Three objects are available. Links are how many links? One, two, three, four, five, six links. I think six links are available. In the collaboration diagrams also, also having same representation. But structure is different. See how many objects, three objects. Uh, links from where to where the structure will present. Where to where it goes automatically. That shows step by step execution interaction which shows overall step in, uh, execution. From this object to do, how many objects the information flows. From this object to how many objects information gets the information? That available only while seeing this uh, uh, diagram, that is collaboration diagram. If you create this diagram automatically, uh, you may create that uh, sequence diagram also. If sequence diagram we created, automatically we create a collaboration diagram. Both two diagrams are belongs to which type of diagrams? Interaction diagram. Right. Next state chart diagram. State chart diagram. What is a state chart diagram? State chart diagram contains states. The name itself it depends. State chart diagram contains states and also the transitions, transitions from one state to another state. Events. 
event uh, events and those activities what kind of information it provides okay so state mission diagram contains as like this state chart diagram addresses what address which address is dynamic view state chart diagram address is the dynamic view this is the representation of state chart diagram state chart diagram so different kind of states are there this is one state initial state filled dot this is uh, uh, what is the exit state exit state contain uh, uh, here in this diagram exit state is not there so we have right exit state contain uh, filled uh, filled dot with the circle that is the exit state starting state is a filled circle this is the starting state at that time in the sixth unit i think in the sixth unit or fifth unit we will learn completely about this diagram so just we have to see uh, what is the structure of uh, particular diagrams okay so this is the state chart diagram contain state chart diagram and different kind of events so all these are states all these are states okay so which also contain different kind of information and also which contain the transition from one state one state to another state event what kind of event which transfer from one state to another state so like all information is available with the state chart diagram right next activity diagram activity diagram what activity diagram activity diagram is also behaves like a dynamic diagram activity diagram so an activity diagram is a special kind of state chart diagram state chart diagram state chart diagram another view is activity diagram activity diagram there is interaction diagrams contain two types of sequence diagram collaboration whereas if you take uh, activity diagram and all state machine state chart diagram both two are state machine diagrams right so uh, state machine diagram contain activities different kind of activities which represents the dynamic view so this is the view of uh, activity diagram activity to activity initial activity what is initial activity at the end what is the end there initial activity in between the different kind of uh, things are there so selection or uh, multiple among them uh, condition um, joints different set of joints splitting all those are there so we have to see those about in the next uh, sessions component diagram static view i said component diagram is a static view representation component diagram organizations are dependencies what is component diagram these are all the components in the component component diagram only represents static parts okay so next uh, deployment diagram what is deployment deployment diagram is also representing static view so deployment di uh, diagram uh, configuration of the runtime processing modes so deployment uh, view is there deployment view is there so all the components in the components connections uh, which represent deployment not important this is not important diagram important diagrams are only the interaction diagrams are important so summary what is the summary uh, what we learn in this class is uh, diagrams which diagrams UML diagrams. UML diagrams are of how many kinds? Two kinds. First one is a static diagram. So second one is a dynamic diagram. Static diagram is also simply called as a structural diagrams. Structural diagrams. Dynamic diagrams is also called as a behavioral diagram. Dynamic diagrams also be here. Static diagrams are of four kinds. So first one is a uh, class diagram. Second one is a object diagram. Third one is a component diagram. Component diagram. Fourth one is a deployment diagram. Okay. All those are represent static view. Okay. Dynamic diagrams are of how many? Remaining five diagrams. What are by uh, dynamic diagrams? First one is a use case diagram. Second one is a interaction diagram. 
interaction diagrams. Uh, next, um, third one is the <coughs> state machine diagram. State machine diagram. Fourth, fifth one. Fifth one is the use case diagram. Interaction diagrams are of two types again. What are interaction diagrams? Sequence diagram. Sixth one is the sequence diagram. Seventh one is the collaboration diagram. Collaboration diagram. Next, interaction diagrams are two types. State machine diagrams are two types. First one is the eighth. First one is the state chart diagram. State chart diagram. Uh, yeah, eighth, ninth, ninth one is activity diagram. Activity diagram. With this, uh, we conclude building blocks, uh, overall building blocks of the unified model. If you learn all about these building blocks, I think you are familiarized with the object-oriented analysis and design. Thank you.